Hey, Rachel Greninger with Red Carpet Report, and today we're in Beverly Hills at the 19th Annual Hollywood Film Awards. Hi. Um, first of all, I wanted to say that, um, have you heard about the Inside Out being a really great tool that the autism, autistic support community has used to raise awareness about autism? Yeah, a couple of people have sent me uh, stories, amazing stories, about their kids that have not really been able to express themselves in any way, and that the film has given this new set of tools to work with. It's just fantastic. I wish we could claim that's why we made it, but that's... Right. Well, my, um, a good friend of mine, her son has autism, and so it's really, and I'm going to go to school to be an ABA, so I work with autistic kids, and um, so it's just a cr incredible to see a film that you made be really impacting a group of people who really have had no voice before now. Yeah, it's really, I, I, I've not worked closely with autistic kids myself, so I don't know, but from what people have told me, it, yeah, it's just allowed them to, I think in part, uh, Amy Poehler talked about this, that her boys were not autistic, uh, but they're boys, and so they, if you, you want to torture a boy, ask them, how do you feel about this? They're like, ah. I can't, you know? no matter how old the boy is, no, exactly. mind you. Exactly, so this film, because it's physicalized, yeah. because it's characters stomping around and moving, it's made it a lot easier for them, too, so maybe that's part of the key, I don't know. No, I think it definitely is, because autistic kids have a lot of issues when it comes to physical stimuli versus mental stimuli, so with kids personifying sort of that action, that gives them the outlet to express emotions they didn't know at all existed, so thank you for doing that, and your art is changing the world, so thank you. That's really cool, thank you. Yeah, have a great rest of the night, congratulations. Right. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, if you like this interview, go ahead and hit like, subscribe, and in the comments below, tell me what your favorite film of 2015's been.